Yo, what's up everybody, how's it going? Today we are playing some Dota 1x6, which is of course made by Xeno. And specifically we are playing Juggernaut, who is of course a very fun character and I thought it would be some fun to play him. Also, today's video is sponsored, brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace, of course, is a longtime supporter of the channel here. They are a fantastic, fantastic service. It's all about building a website. If you need a website, if you want to build a website, if you want to run a domain, if you need a domain, Squarespace is the place to do it. You can really do everything encompassing website in the nice, simple, easy to use tools. There's a link down in the description, go check it out. And for now, let's get into the game. Okay, we got ourselves a Jagger man. Get some boots, get a quelling blade. Level up Blade Fury, level up Blade Dance. Get a disconnect. There's the mandatory disconnect at the start of the game that everybody has to have. <laughs> but yeah, we're playing Juggernaut today. I'm not actually sure what build we're playing. We could go for Q, we could go for E. W is kind of bad in lobbies with ranged heroes and the ultimate is just kind of bad in general. So I'm thinking one of those two. I'm sort of leaning towards the E. It sounds kind of fun to just like try to beat things up hardcore with maximum physical damage, which is what the E is, so just sheer power. And the Q build is, I don't know, kind of annoying. You just spin. We'll see. I mean, let's just kind of wait until we get our epic and then decide based on that, right? What do we have here? We get some status resistance, secondary attributes, magic resistance. I think status resistance is probably okay. Uh, we'll go get a Battle Fury today. I like Battle Fury on Juggernaut in general. It's a really great tool to make sure you don't fall behind while farming. And then it also just is a reasonably cheap item that just kind of is good. Yeah, I guess that's it. It's really, there's nothing, there's no witchcraft here. It's just kind of like a nice item to have, I think. All right, let's see if we can pull you out. Very good. And then uh, we'll get ourselves this, and then I should be able to spin this down. Ah, cooldowns loosely add up. Not entirely, but like just about. And then I can get myself Faded Brooch, extra movement speed. I don't actually care about the mana, really. I, I just care about the movement speed. Good vibes. And then we'll get ourselves a Battle Fury. And I'm thinking Battle Fury Blink, to be honest. Hey, SS Hollow 2, thanks for the nine months. Yeah, good vibes. <laughs> Appreciate that, thank you very much. Juggernaut Ultimate is bad. I don't like it very much. It's one of those builds that like changes the ability a lot. And the problem is that Juggernaut's Ultimate is like pretty good. It's a good ability. And then with the... Let's get more status resistance. Recently I was playing a game, I think was it as Phantom Assassin? Or... Snipe? I don't even know. But somebody. And people were getting mad that I wasn't picking up enough status resistance. So I've decided I will just get... A shit ton of status resistance today, apparently. <laughs> I've decided that right now. No, it's okay. You know, like, I sometimes make mistakes, for sure, right? And status resistance is one of those things where I feel like 4% really just doesn't make a difference. Ooh, look at that. Blade Dance heal you. Blade Dance heal you. heals you. All right, I'm thinking we'll go Blade Dance today. But, like, status resistance is one of those things where it's just, like, it doesn't really do that much if you just have, like, you know, a little bit of it. You really need a bunch of status resistance before it starts being affected. But then it can be incredibly good. Like, if you have a bunch of status resistance, it can be one of the most powerful effects in the entire game. Ooh. Yeah, but we're already TPing back. It's, it's just, it's fine. It's fine. We'll take this down. It's just a low HP Huskar looks juicy, but we all know we shouldn't trust that, right? Oh, yes, that's amazing. Oh, they are actually both good. Whew. But we already said Blade Dance, right? So let's do Blade Dance. Let's do Blade Dance. So Blade Dance reduces the target's, mo the target's movement speed by 40% and increases your movement speed by 40%. That is enormous. That's a huge swing in mobility. So uh, since Blade Dance also has a really high proc chance, we can use that to just kind of overwhelm people pretty easily. All right, cool. We'll take you guys down. Get ourselves a quick early medium camp, that's always fantastic. But yeah, status resistance definitely is useful, but only if you have enough of it, right? 4% doesn't matter. But hey, who knows, maybe 8% does. We can get a sanctioned Yasha, we can get ourselves this, which gives us 40% status resistance, and all of a sudden we might be approaching that fabled 100. And once you get to 100, oh, oh, then that's gonna be spicy. That'll be good, that'll be very powerful. Okay. 
Take down this, do a quick little spin, we'll get ourselves extra damage. Max out the Blade Fury, of course. I'll give myself some extra damage from this as well. Honestly, like, even tiny bits of extra damage really add up, because we're using the crit, of course, right? And that's just a fantastic, fantastic synergy there. Alright, get this. Ooh, counter warding this already, alright. I will get extra cast range and extra uh, attack range. That's actually pretty useful. This doesn't have that much cast range, so bumping that up a bit. Yeah, we're pretty happy about that. All right, spin, spin, spin. I will dive to the, the base. Yeah, nice. Very good, very good. Oh, it's 100% worth it to dive the base for that. I mean, it's a... So it's it's pretty much a freebie at that stage. With the ultimate, we don't have to worry about dying really. And um Yeah, we'll just take it. Grab this. I will let the warlock take some damage while I pick up uh, there should be a bounty rune here. Yes. Very good. Well I'll pick up this, throw down a ward. I can even tackle another camp while I'm at it. Can you still actually cancel the channel summon with 100% status resistance? Uh, I think so. I think status resistance doesn't prevent stuns. It just, like, n makes them have no duration, right? But, like, a no-duration stun in Dota is still an interruption, I believe. But I'm actually not 100% sure about that. That's an interesting question. If anybody ever feels so inclined to do some Dota research, that seems like a fun topic. All right. So, cooldown 18 seconds, we can activate it, we get silence for 4 seconds, and um, my status resistance increases and my chance for blade dance increases, and I do 100%, I have 100% chance to, you get a blade dance for a little while. Also, help, <laughs> we're getting beaten up by a bristleback. Uh, we missed some attacks already, this dude just kind of rushed the talisman of evasion, which is interesting. What's this build? W, okay. So, annoyingly, no ultimate right now. Mm -hmm. But I think we can just kind of take this. Let me see. I'm probably faster. Oh, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Lucky you, lucky you, but I think I'm still faster. Because I have face boots. Yeah. Come on. No miss. Nice. Good. After Blade Dance triggers, you parry the next incoming attack, reducing its damage by 40%. Sick. I mean, considering we're going for a farming build, and I want to farm. That's my plan, right? Uh, and we already got two or two early kills, finishing up a seven-minute Battle Fury. That's amazing. It's incredible. So we're in a really, really good spot right now. Absolutely nothing to complain about. Get ourselves extra damage. I will get a Blink Dagger. And then we can go Sanction Yasha. Why not? Maybe today is just Status Resistance Day. I'll pick up every bit of Status Resistance that we can. Let's see how we can make that work. Alright, who knows? Maybe it's fun. <laughs> Maybe it's fun. Blink Dagger is really good with this build. First of all, we can use it to farm, which makes it valuable already. Um, but also, of course... It uh, lets us blink in, use our E, stun, beat up our target. Ooh, I am gonna summon an evil demon. And you should summon a thumbs up on the video. <laughs> okay, there is definitely gonna be a Husker around here. And nice, sick. Clean, clean, clean. Uh, it's just gotta read their movement a little bit, right? But, uh, I mean, we get them anyway. Like, you might say, oh, if the Husker had used this Q. First of all, I'm guessing it was on cooldown. Because, you know, the camp is pretty tough. But even if, I can just spin. And then not start. Hello. Yeah, it's fine. I actually don't want to fight. I don't have... No, maybe. Okay. Just beat him up. There it is. Oh! Damn it! That was too much damage. Should have gone for an ultimate instead of the E. 
I just thought we would live long enough, but that was foolish. That was not a good idea. All right. All right, all right. Yeah. Well, sometimes you get a little greedy. Our early game was looking so good up to that point. <laughs> all right, then. Well, we'll just get back, pick up the blink dagger. It was also just a matter of, of course, the 20% damage swing. Right? But I should have kept that in mind. Well, I did keep it in mind. Yes, status resistance. It's not like I forgot about it. Uh, I just... It's it's a bit difficult to really... Properly evaluate it. Alright, thank you very much. Take these guys. We upgrade all. Blade Dance heals us. I'll take you. Oh, hello. No, I don't really want to fight you. Okay. What are you doing? I think I'll just go for it. Right? Got him. Nice. I mean, yeah, we took some damage, but nothing we can't handle. And uh, healing ward really quick. We'll be back to full in no time. And our damage output is high enough that we can just take this and dip. And that's also where the blink dagger is nice, right? Like, it's just mobility is king. Mobility has always been the best farming tool. This is definitely something where I think uh, it's a certain level of Dota, right? It's a, it's a level of learning. When you are still a little inexperienced, you think the best farming tool is Battle Fury. As you become a little bit better, you learn that the best farming tool is a bottle. And as you become even better than that, you eventually figure out the best farming tool is a Blink Dagger. And once you figure out, and once you get a bit, even a little bit better than that, you eventually arrive at the penultimate conclusion, which is that the best farming tool is TP scrolls. <laughs> All right. Spin, spin, spin. Ooh. Lots of stuns. I will get some life steal. Oh, we definitely want to get the Aghanim's shard, right? Because that will uh, let us attack while spinning, which seems really useful. And then you realize best farming tool is Dagon. <laughs> In 1x6, it's actually not that untrue. Farm Dagon is a great farming tool here. Blade and Seal Seal for 40%. So we've got our Yasha. That would actually be kind of a fun video idea. I know that, like, a lot of people have made content like this for all kinds of things, you know? Ten levels of cooking, whatever. So a lot of the cooking I saw. Ten levels of cooking uh, steak and shit like that. Although, can I say one thing? The internet is weirdly obsessed with cooking steak. And cooking steak is just not that hard. <laughs> it's just... It's just not a challenging thing to cook. So I don't know why steak has become like the big like measuring tool of like how good your cooking is. Probably precisely because of that, right? It's like easy enough that anybody can do it. <clears throat> All right, grab this. You know, our farming is going great. Just at the sweet spot where we're not far enough ahead that we are hunted. But we still have a really solid lead. And uh, that's really all we want. Let's go back. We definitely want to get MKB. Because we need more damage. I'm not sure if MKB next... But probably. Like, the evasion is a problem. So, let's go for that. <clears throat> it's not that hard to cook good steak, but it's actually challenging to do consistently. Uh, is it? I don't know. The big trick to cooking is to just have a watch. <laughs> Alright, let's get ourselves a kill. Should 
be it. Nice. Extra damage. Blade Dance attacks inflict mortal wound on targets for 6 seconds. At the end of this effect, or when a target drops below 30%, the target will receive 60 magic damage per mortal wound. So that's a whole bunch of extra damage, actually. It's quite powerful. I think I will just take this, even though I, I know the Huskar is here. I just don't really respect him enough to worry about it. That sounds mean. I guess it is mean. <laughs> it's like, it's, it is mean. It's true. But I don't think that makes it any less mean. Okay. I, I don't like any of this, actually. I guess the Blade Fury. That seems okay. The Blade Fury upgrade seems fine. Because that way we can uh, use this a bit more aggressively, especially since we have the Aghanim's shard already. And... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got him. Nice. Just needed to bait a tiny little bit. So I have my uh, ultimate ready. And then we get that. And here's this. And then we get the mortal wounds, which now deal 100 damage. And next up... It's actually a good question. What's next up? We definitely want a Diffuser Blade. We also want MKB. What's more important? Probably MKB, right? Apologies for interrupting, but let me tell you a little bit about Squarespace, today's sponsor. Squarespace is the best place for building a website. Do you want to build a website? Then you want to do it with Squarespace. It's that simple. It's that easy. Anything you want, you can just come in here and decide what you want it to be. Right? It's easy peasy. You can just say here, okay, you know what? Let me check out this template. Do you like it? Do you want your website to look like this? There's a nice storefront, right? You can run your store on there, no problem. You can see, okay, if I click on it, ah, I can choose sizes. I can choose how many I want. I can add stuff to carts, right? It just tells you the whole story right away. You can see what it would look like on a phone. You can see what it would look like on the full desktop version. We were just on a tablet version a second ago, right? Lots and lots of different options available to you. Do you want to have a website like this? Great, no problem. What is this? Is this a wedding, web wedding website? Apparently, that's a thing. I heard that people have webs websites for weddings, which is a little odd to me, but why not? Like, fuck it, go make a wedding website, right? <laughs> make a website about whatever you want it to be. It is, it is just so quick. It is so comfortably easy to use. There's really no reason why you wouldn't want to do it with Squarespace. Just come in here, say, okay. Oh, this is another wedding website. That's interesting that so many of them are about weddings. This one is about food. I like this one. Let's make one about food. All right? Wonderful. Oh, well, that looks tasty. Let's read more about this. See, can make a little block. Isn't that great? Many options. Infinite options. It's all up to you. You don't have to just stick to the template either. You can customize it. Go ahead. Check out Squarespace. They're a longtime supporter of the channel. I deeply appreciate them. Genuinely, really good product. It's just a great place to build a website. I have a little board just because I'm supposed to train my finger uh, because it's not broken anymore. But now I, it needs physical therapy. Maybe I can find a, square, a website for that on Squarespace. Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> go check out Squarespace. Link down in the description. And let's get back into the video. Do I even want the Fuser Blade? I mean, the whole point was that we have uh, status resistance to get rid of the buffs. All right. So I don't know if we even need uh, the fuser blade to get rid of stuff. It's fine. We'll just status resistance it. <laughs> Ooh, there's a lot of action. Is this mine? No. Okay, I'll pick up this. Hmm. Actually. 
Oh, I'm a little, I'm a little torn on this. This is probably not a good idea. Ooh, Dagon. What the hell are you doing with that? Put the gun away, friend. And that should be enough. Good. Ooh, Bidag. Nice. Oh my god. Really just maximizing how annoying you are, aren't we? Okay. But I'm gonna be taking this. I already put in a whole bunch of effort. <laughs> I'm already emotionally invested enough that I want to get this kill. That was a super aggressive buyback. Yeah, I think it's too early. I would never go for a buyback that early, but it it is tricky, right? Because if you don't go for that buyback, you lose a part of your base. Problem, of course, is that he went for the buyback and he still lost part of his base. So, was it worth it? Hmm. Okay, that's fine. And now we just punch him. Ooh. Ooh, this is so filthy. Alright. Your attacks have a chance to reduce Omni Slash and Swift Slash cooldown. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's not super useful, but we'll take it, right? Ooh, we already got a knockout. That's fast. Getting knockouts this early is very difficult. Just mostly because the bases are really powerful. Like, I am way ahead of uh, some of the heroes down here. I could easily get knockouts if the base just let me. But, uh, fortunately, it doesn't. Alright, we'll get a swift blink. Because that's an item that we want anyway. Thank you. Hmm. Unfortunately, the uh, Bristleback ended up going down to the axe. I would have liked to get that kill myself, but all right. Okay. You can see our damage output is insane, right? Like, it's crazy high. It is so good. It's definitely the best part of this build. It's just how much damage you do. I could have gone for the Bristleback first and tried to, like, take take him down immediately. But I just thought, like, we could cleave off of the axe. But I think there was probably a spin or some sort of other effect that, that got in the way. Mm, okay. No, this is probably going to require an ultimate. But that's just how it be. Take this. Now we can heal. Which makes a pretty big difference, to be honest. And now I just need to get the bristle back. I'm not actually sure how I'm going to do that. I guess we'll have to find out. Oh, I figured it out. <laughs> wow. Ooh, we sure do a lot of damage. Uh, the final hit reduces that. I think I'll just get the second legendary. Hmm, I don't like any of these. They all suck. Ah, I get the root. Healing reduction mostly. Oh my god, Hoodwink! Crazy stuff happening over there. So, we gotta knock out our Huska, I think. Because uh, we gotta keep up with the tempo that the Hoodwink is putting out here. We gotta keep up with that, and it's not that easy. What's the build? It's Q, right? Like, ah, I hate that build. Ah, that build is so annoying. Super strong. 
Just, I, I don't like it because it's just one shot too, which I know is a bit hypocritical because of what I'm playing, but... Complain to Xeno, not to me. <laughs> Ooh. Fast, okay. Oh, that wasn't enough? Did these apply through BKB? Oh, yes. That's how BKB works now, right? I think they just applied through BKB because that's just how BKB works these days. So that's... Alright, it's fine. We can just get him. Hey, the young Garu! Thanks! I'm glad, the new I'm glad too! <laughs> Alright, there's the knockback. Ultimate. Get this. Um, suppose I'll get this for some extra damage. Mm hmm I will just take this down and then get out. Never mind, we're getting out now. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy, not gonna lie. Oh my god, she's just farming people. How many kills does she have? Fourteen. Crazy stuff. Okay, let's go, 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 let's go. Go, 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 go. This is what it comes down to. <laughs> it just comes down to who gets in this dude's face. Uh... Okay, I got him. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Shit, 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 shit. I need healing. That killed my ward. Fuck! No! I don't have enough! I don't have enough! Oh, she's going for me. Why is she going for me? No, I wasn't ready for this. Why are you here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Haskar, please do it. You can do it. Do I buy back? I should have bought back, right? I should have bought back. Mm. Fuck. Yeah, she got him. Is she gonna get the base? Oh, she's gonna get the base. I hate this. This is so stupid. Oh, she got so lucky. So stupid. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. No more complaints. No more complaints. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no more complaints. We're fine. Alright, I need to reset. Because I want to blink in. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Go, 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 go. Who cares? Who cares? Go, 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 go. Fuck, 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 fuck. No! Fuck! Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. You can do it. You can do it. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Why no dive? Why no Why no ult? Why no ult? Yes. <laughs> this is so dumb. Um, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Crap, buy something. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, come on. I got it. Did I get it? I got it. I got it! Yes! Yes! We got there. Whoo! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, that was stupid. What a dumb game. So, I don't know if we can get the hoodwink. Is that, is that possible? The additional foodie magic damage? I guess it's foodie damage, right? Hmm. Also, what do I buy? I have I have some money. I have a little bit. Like a crimson guard, maybe. Agnum Scepter, divine, and just try to combo her down. Hmm. Get a moon shard. I didn't know what to get. I got a moon shard. Got her. No. Come on! There we go. <laughs> it took a little bit. <laughs> it wasn't sure, it wasn't sure, it wasn't sure. Alright. Oh, what? Uh-huh. No, we're probably just dead. Oh, no, what the... Come on, cast! There we go. Nice. Holy... In case you don't know what was going on, I think she had a, 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 some sort of knockback that was interrupting me out of my ultimate. There were like multiple times when my hero was about to cast and then just stopped. But we got it! We got it! Yes! That was an incredibly short game, but very cool. I liked it. <laughs> very happy about the way that worked out. Also, I think I actually got a sponsor for the Techies video. Sorry, this is just, I just got, 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 got the news. I just now got a Discord message and I'm just, I'm so excited about that. Um, that's a really big deal, right? In case you don't know, but like, the thing is with the kind of YouTube channel that we're doing with the stories of Dota, you can't sustain that YouTube channel on just um, on on just or what's it called? Like AdSense. It just isn't enough. It's just not enough money. You need sponsorships. And I think I got one, which is great. Like that's really good. I'm really happy about that. No VPM. No, the VPMs, they are all bullshit. They only do affiliate shit. I don't like affiliate stuff. Okay, just really quick. Sorry, I'm ruining the length of this video because it's it's such a nicely short video, but um, I do not do affiliate sponsorships, um, which is what NordVPN and ExpressVPN and Surfshark, all of the VPNs, they all do v uh, affiliate sponsorships. And f affiliate sponsorships are basically, hey, we, we give you a link and based on the amount of sales that you get, then we pay you based on that. And that may sound fair to you, right? Like at first glance, that makes sense. Well, yeah, obviously, right? Like that way you have a direct response to how much money you like how much how much they are getting in return. And that makes sense. Problem is, I don't consider that to be my job. Like as far as I'm concerned, right? As somebody creating the content, my job is just to give you like A, present your product in a good, fair way and B, Get eyeballs on your product. Just have, make people aware of it. Because sales depend on A, awareness, and B, on how good is your product. Right? Like, I can do the world's best pitch. And if your product is just a bunch of garbage that nobody wants, nobody's going to die anywhere. Oh, uh, sorry, nobody, nobody's going to buy it, right? And it's just, that doesn't have anything to do with me, though. I did my job. I got you the eyeballs. I did an advertisement for you. 
if your product is shit, that's on you. And as far as I'm concerned, die, sorry, yeah, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, that's just not my job, right? You are passing on the role of being a salesperson to me, even though that's not what I'm here for, right? You're basically asking me to take on a secondary unpaid job, which is not fair in my opinion. So that's why I don't really like doing affiliate sponsorships. Um, they are really a last resort for me because it's just something where I feel like, yeah, it's, I don't know, don't like it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.